back to my channel. I am Shamay and welcome to Shamazing Vlogs. So for today's video guys, gagawa na rin ng reaction video ang Nigeria's Bush Meat Farms Eating Giant Rat with Miss Nigeria. So let's go. Around this moment, I'm here with the most beautiful woman in Nigeria <laughs> and we're about to eat a giant rat. Rat? Cool Friday. Welcome to Nigeria. Before we enter Lagos, Africa's biggest city of over 20 million, we're heading deep into the countryside to explore Nigeria's most unique protein, bush meat. Wild African animals that are hunted or more commonly trapped for the purpose of consumption. Have you ever eaten these? No, I haven't. Bush meat is fairly common here, but not all bush meat is the same. This particular animal is high in protein. I think all meat is high in protein. But this particular one is very high in protein. Super protein. In our first two Nigeria episodes, Miss Nigeria and I are taking on this distinct delicacy. We're doing it. Yeah. From clean and orderly bush meat farms to markets mm. hawking yeah. wild animals, some that I never expected to see for sale. But before that, I'm heading to a small local village to see what folks here cook up as part of their everyday diet. Breakfast is here, by the way. Thank you. Esther and her family settled here by the river a few hours from the mega city of Lagos. Folks around here make most of their income through fishing and farming, but selling fish traps is another common side hustle. Esther has a third business that brings in neighbors and brought us here too. It looks stunning and it's a large volume of food. That's about the size of my stomach. They say your stomach is about the size of your fist, do you know that? No, I don't. That's your stomach right I think there. my stomach is smaller. This is even more than your stomach. No. Could you eat this whole thing? I don't think so. See? <laughs> Made from corn that's been fermented for three days, pop is a good source of calories and nutrition. Prep is simple. Boil it in water and mix, mix, mix. But pop alone is bland. Folks pop? usually combine it with something else. First of all, we have to add the sugar to the pop. Ruth, my local guide, shows me how to double down on the flavor. Yeah. This. Oh, you get deep. Yeah. Oh, you're going. Oh. See that? Real deep. Mm -hmm. Wow. Or a side meal made of beans and red chili peppers. No, I can do it. No, sit down, sit down. Take a break. Then deep fry until it turns a beautifully crispy shade of golden that brown. They call it Akura. Akara. Akara. Yeah, it's nice if you eat it together. These are simple, affordable ingredients, but when prepared the right way, with a bit of work and creativity, it's delicious. And a little more pop. I like it. It kind of coats your mouth. It's so smooth. A little bit sweet from the sugar. Almost sour. They're both good. I love these fritters. Super crunchy. Just a little bit of seasoning. Not overpowering. Pop and bean cakes are breakfast staples. But in the end, they are just cleverly disguised vegetables. So what about the meat? Well, today is a special day. This is the first process of the goat preparation. Oh. They kind of singe the hairs off. This is a method I've seen done everywhere. In Papua, when they did a pig. In Vietnam, when they do goat. In Ninbin, they do the same thing. Next, chopped pieces of goat meat are boiled in a soup made with plantains, red chili peppers, and lemongrass. The dish is called goat pepper soup, a recipe anyone around Nigeria will recognize. So right here, she has kind of a chicken bouillon. You know, the goat is a little too goaty. We want it to be a little chickeny, too. Want some goat? Ah! Mm. What are these homes made out of? Is it just mud? Is there something else? It's a stick. It's cut in, in the forest. And the world is made of mud. How long does it take to build a house like this? Is that long or fast for you? Do that. Since it's just mud. Yes, you do. Just pass it. These are plantains? Yeah. Go soup. Yeah, it's like a sticky potato. It's taken on some of that broth. I like that. I'm going to try the meat now. I love the meat. It's super juicy. But more than anything, this seasoning combination, especially with all the chilies, is super good. Why the peppers? Why is that so popular as a seasoning? Do you have any idea? It is healthy, even more healthy than plantain. Mm. It has more nutrients and helps the immune system fight diseases. Mm. And is it only with goat or are people doing this preparation with other animals too? You could have beef pepper soup. You could have pig, even a dog. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Have you had the dog one? No, I haven't. Coming up, me and the most beautiful woman in Nigeria are going to take on this country's most unique bushmeat protein. But first, lunch. You had kind of a viral moment. Could you tell me about that? What happened? Okay. <laughs> and Miss World 2019. Well, it was down to just a few people. It was down Three, to... Three, right? Yes. And one of them was you. Yes. And who were the other two? Miss Brazil and Miss yeah. Jamaica. And then what happened? And then they called Miss Jamaica. And then I was so happy because I thought that she did it. Mm. I found it quite weird because after it happened, I was like, oh my God, my mom is going to kill me. They're never going to let Nigeria come to this world again because I just embarrassed myself. Now, Miss Jamaica won the crown, but her friend and former contestant, Miss Nigeria, won the internet about her viral. <laughs> Her reaction is taking yeah. social media by storm. Observers say it's a great example of That's women happy. supporting other women. <laughs> I hope you saw that video of our queen. queen. Our queen. I think what I was trying to show is that you don't really have to be fighting with someone that's fighting for the same goal. Like you don't need that one crown to do it. You can do it with or without the crown. And that's exactly what we're trying to teach younger ladies out here. We should work with each other and try and uplift each other as women and as people. And we should know that we can do anything we want to, regardless of whatever size we have. Yeah. And here we are yeah. at this restaurant, about to dig into some... Uh, Ewa. Ewa. Yeah. Come say it right Break it down. You're going to be our food expert. Oh, God. And anything you can't figure out, we'll say in voiceover. Okay. Iwa literally means beans. It's prepared in a bean mm. stew, and the sauce comes from this intestine soup. Beans are always a hit in this part of Nigeria, and Mama Jay's is the type of eatery you'll find anywhere along a busy road outside the city. This is actually my favorite food. Oh, it's your favorite food? Yeah. Oh, why don't you know what's in it? This is a different culture, I say. This is like their version of it. Yes. And I taste some animal in there. Uh, there's a picture of a goat on the sign out there. I think that's what we're eating. Maybe not that one exactly. I think that goat just does photo shoots. <laughs> you know that life, though. <laughs> Did you just compare me to a goat? I'm here. I don't want to shoot no more. Ooh, I just took a bite. It is very rich and very spicy. Really? I want to try it. When you look at it, it looks a little clean, but all this fiery, rich oil, it's lighting my food tube on fire. So we actually eat this with bread? Okay, thank you. It's actually very popular in Nigeria. It's super doughy, I love it. Put some of the bean on the bread. This bread is super delicious. I mean, it's just like doughy and soft. Today, we're on a mission. Let's finish up these beans, all of them, and let's go get some fish meat. There's no way I'm finishing these beans. <laughs> Wait, I hope this one. We have to use that now, sorry. Well, hi there. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for allowing us to come to your piggery and also giant rat farm. At first glance, oh Arbor God. Park is a farm that looks like most any other farm. But here, the staff lives in close proximity to the animals they care for. They've got hostels, a soccer field, even a place to kick back. But none of that is as special as what we're about to see. Here we are now, surrounded by literally thousands of giant rats. I don't even know what the actual name is. Are they giant rats? Ooh, the black girl, Bush the meat black, is meat that's been black. hunted or trapped in Africa's countryside. This includes a huge variety of animals, snakes, lizards, even crocodiles. 
Then there's this guy, a cane rat. Locally, these are known as grass cutters. Have you ever eaten these? Yes. You have? They belong to the rodent family. It's very similar to a porcupine, but without the spines. Around here, it's an absolute treasured delicacy. Are you breeding them here too? Yeah. Do you watch them breed? A little privacy would be nice. <laughs> How expensive is it? How much does it cost? Well, it's Well, what? I'm not just going to buy the head or something. <laughs> Should I? Well, not that many people can afford the whole thing. Is it that expensive? So how much does it cost? How much is a chicken? Yeah, four chickens. Yeah. $1, so you could buy either one giant cane rat or about nine, ten chickens. Yeah. Despite its price, farming grass cutter in Nigeria is not only common, but it's a hype train across the country. So popular that you can find tutorials from local bloggers explaining how to start your own grass cutter farming operation. How long does it take for them to go from a baby to like, ready for the dinner table? Two to three years. Yeah. Raising something for two to three years, that's a lie for 27 bucks. That's a big commitment. Do you think it costs more to raise it for two years? Well, I don't think they would make a profit. Yeah. Right? It doesn't cost much because this is not the origin grass. We only feed them and they love to put whatever they hold it in their hands? Yeah, they hold it in their hands. Is it super cute? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're about to kill one of these, right? <laughs> cute! They are cute, but why are you eating them? Why do people love this so much? Oh my god! And it's white meat. No cholesterol. I think all meat is high in protein, no? But this particular one is very high in protein. Super protein. The chopped meat is first boiled with red onion, chicken seasoning, salt, and wild basil. Then they fry it. For the sauce, they grind up a combination of red onion, tomato, and red chili pepper. Put it in hot oil, add chopped red onion, salt, black pepper, and sweet basil leaves. At last, the meat joins the party. What do you think of this cooking preparation? I'm so excited to taste it. It's like it's I'm a little blown away. I thought it would be a little bit more basic preparation. This must be half culinary school and half a <laughs> It looks like chicken. What is this? Or is there a tractor behind us? Yeah. yeah. Look at this production value. Hey! Imagine it's rat. Makes yeah. me crazy. But I, I'm looking for the feet. Mm. This is a pretty big chunk. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Probably a bag thigh. All right. Back thigh. All right. Cheers. Wait, wait. Palm wine. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. Oh, it's good. Oh my god, it's really good. It's very sour. Okay, are we ready now? All right, go for it. My tongue likes it, but my brain is fighting it. Why? Come on, bro. What are you doing? Um, wow. If you look at the skin, it's super thick. I try to get through. Not actually tough. Just do it. I just want to get to the meat. Look at this skin. It's like pig skin. Yeah, you can have it. You like it. It's got like plenty of fat in there. Not overly oh, meat, so it's like sticky. When you chew into it, I can kind of see why people like it. It's a little wow, cheeky, wow, wow. but with a little bit of giant rat kicker in the end. The head. And it doesn't bother you that you're eating its head. That's where its feelings and stuff are stored, like its memories. That's okay. Memories of its mother are in there. I mean, we're eating the body, we just killed it, so might as well just eat the head. I think that's logical. I follow that. <laughs> Listen, as a pageant queen, there's many stages of competition. There's oh, the congeniality one, where they ask you questions. We're just doing the Q&A round. Nikashi. Mm -hmm. As a representative for Nigeria, mm -hmm. and someone who has eaten giant rat more than once, please tell us why more people should eat giant rat. Thank you very much for that question. Over the years, giant rat has been something that made people have more protein in their body. The meat is clean and it doesn't have any fat. I urge everyone to eat giant rat to no. grow taller like me. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you, girl. <laughs> that was amazing. I can't help it. Even though it's farmed, around here, grass cutter is still considered bush meat. But next time, Yakachi and I will witness the real bush meat industry in action. And I can tell you now, it's not for the faint of heart. Hey guys, how's it going with that quarantine? More like quarantine, alright? 
If you're anything like me, you're probably stuffing yourself twice a day. Listen, we're gonna get through this. I'm not talking about the apocalypse. I don't know anything about that. I'm talking about this constant stomach stretching that we keep doing. But if we move forward, if we persevere, at the end of the day, we can call ourselves food coma survivors. <laughs> Buy the shirt. Okay, guys. So, I want to ask you. Kaya nyo bang kumain ng giant rat? Oh my gosh. Kaya siguro masarap siya. Ini-imagine ko palang na daga. Hindi ko na kaya. But, if you're an exotic person, you love exotic um, animals, Try new. Try Nigeria. I'll try it. I hope you enjoyed this video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga videos ko. Bye! Keep safe! And just levitate!